Welcome back, beautiful tri-state area. You're listening to a moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Welcoming back to America's favorite pharmacist segment, where we bring expert advice on wellness to help you take control of your health. Today, we have the amazing Phil Cowley better known as Phil's My Pharmacist all over social media. He's a trusted voice in health education, and he's here today to break down some important information about products making waves, drinks that claim to neutralize alcohol in the bloodstream. We're going to be discussing whether these products are as good as they sound. Let's dive right in. Welcoming now to the show is my expert at hand for the Expert on the Microphone series, Phil Cowley. Welcome, superstar. Thank you, Zen. I'm always, this is always so much fun. I can't wait. Let's just dig into this stuff. Let's do it. So let's start by breaking down the claims made by Safety Shot. According to their website, it's the first patented beverage that claims to reduce alcohol's effect on the blood by converting it into a non-toxic substance. Now, from a pharmaceutical standpoint, how plausible is this process and what kind of science would you need to back this up? Uh, plausibility is there. Uh, the one thing you have to think in is what do they do when somebody comes into an ER? So they come in with a good, acute um, toxicity of any alcohol. Uh, the first thing they always do is they give you a very loaded IV with a bunch of B vitamins. There's a substance out there that is a phosphorylated B5. Um, it's not really wet, readily used here in the United States or the UK, but across the world they use it and it has shown some pretty good numbers. Also, keeping those vitamins high with glucose have been shown to be able to help reduce it some. It's mostly because we've added so much fluid to the blood itself. So if you have 100 parts inside of 100 parts and you just double it, so now you have 100 parts inside of 200, then the blood alcohol level drops, which allows for you to clear it faster. So plausibility is definitely there, but the safety shots done some some pretty interesting things when it comes to stimulants inside of it, which is one of those things that has been debunked over the years that caffeine will make you feel like you're not so intoxicated, but still you have much of the intoxication still there. Aha. Now I want to always highlight the importance of clinical trials and FDA approval for any kind of product. So we definitely need to emphasize the need for more evidence before endorsing any kind of claim. And I know that Phil, you and I are on the exact same page with that. Now, it's a pretty bold claim, neutralizing 50% of alcohol. So I'd love to hear how it stacks up scientifically against similar products that have been studied or marketed. So their study is really interesting. So you have to dig for it, which was a little bit interesting for me, but I I dug into it. They've had two paid groups that went through and did studies for them. Um, The first one was with a small group of people. They had them drink as much as they wanted, which wasn't regulated. So some people drink a whole lot and some people drank what they wanted to. And they did it over an hour. And then afterwards, they gave them the safety shot. Um, And those people saw a fairly substantial drop with their blood alcohol level when they used a breathalyzer. And so the second study, which was released later, had a little larger group that was studied. It was a little better controlled. Both of those studies, I've had a hard time getting a hold of the actual study, but I saw the reviews and I saw the safety, the people that were in charge, what they said about them. They're really interesting, but the numbers need to be able to be scrutinized a little bit better for us to say anything. And that was interesting to me that I couldn't find it. Hmm. Yeah, we've all seen products that claim to cure hangovers or detox the body from alcohol. Now, this particular product, you're right, it claims to neutralize 50% of alcohol within 30 minutes. I'm not sure how that compares to other existing products on the market, but these kinds of claims, do you think that there's something that we should be taking at face value? Well, there's a possibility. That's the reason why I when you first when I first started looking at it, I thought, well, so I'm not a big drinker. It's something that I stay away from. I got a family full of alcoholics. It's one of those things that I'm just going to stay away from. And so I've always been more than skeptical about any of these things. Uh, ever since the Drew Carey show, they wanted to put caffeine in, in their beer to make it more fun so they can drink more. But in this, they do use the vitamin B6 that's in a phosphorylated form. And there are there is some evidence there that does help. And their combination of both N-acetylcysteine as well as and acetyltyrosine is uh, something that's intriguing because both of those things could help your liver go through and, and enhance the the way that we get rid of alcohol, turning it into an aldehyde and so we can get rid of it. 
And then they throw in, though, like, like I said, there is a lot of stimulant in this. I mean, I think that if I took this, I probably wouldn't sleep for like two weeks. Uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine in it, as well as three other items that all stimulate the adenosine receptor, which is the reason why you feel tipsy after you start drinking. Well, you know, it's it's interesting because as you're walking me through this, it sounds like like the risks could outweigh the benefits if people misuse the product as a safety net for heavy drinking, right? And according to the Apple News article, this product, right, Safety Shot, is is being touted as a breakthrough in drink safety. However, to your point, there are some experts in the article that mentioned potential concerns about people relying on products like this instead of moderating their drinking, which comes back full circle to your comment. So what are your thoughts on the behavioral aspect of this? I mean, could a product like this encourage overconsumption? I think that anytime you give somebody uh, a product that makes them feel like it's safe to abuse a substance, it's dangerous. Um, when, when we had huge amounts of drinking. I love the way that you said heavy drinking. So this product, if you were drinking with your friends and you had one too many drinks or two too many, would probably do an excellent job. If you have somebody who drinks very heavily, wants to drink this and then go back to drinking again, it probably will not be able to do anything except for make them very belligerent and more agitated. It won't change their behaviors and their and it's very concerning because what you've got is you've got a person who now has drank enough that they are inhibited, less inhibited to do anything. And now you've made them very excited and inhibited, which could be a deadly mix if they're heavy drinkers. But somebody with light drinking who maybe just went one or two too far and needs to get, you know, that person probably will very much benefit from something like this. That's a great point. And we all know there's no magic bullet for long term alcohol damage. And this product is a short term fix rather than a real solution. So when we look at the potential long term effects, are there any red flags consumers should be aware of? For instance, products like these claim it reduces hangovers, but does it address the long term harm alcohol does to the liver or other organs? No, not really. I mean, it, it would depend again on the amount that you drank. So short term anytime you hydrate during your drink everybody knows if you hydrate while you're drinking you're going to have less hangovers and a lot of it has to do with that this does a really great job of that and then they do add in a, a really good mix of amino acids so there are some really good things about it but long-term drinking looks completely different so there's a, a teeter-totter inside of our brain that manages our gaba which is our inhibitory neurochemistry that's the one that makes us slow and relaxed and glutamine and glutamate with GABA, they kind of teeter totter back and forth. In this case, what they're trying to do is just add more players to the teeter totter. It doesn't really fix the underlying problem of heavy drinking, which would be the increase of GABA receptors and the to and the toxicity that comes to the liver, as well as really in this case with as much of the says the stimulant you're going to have to start watching your kidneys a little bit especially those who just drink and don't drink any water this could become more dangerous because of the amount of stimulant they have inside of it so let's go to that that's exactly what i want to talk about so let's talk about uh the ingredients because we know that all natural doesn't always mean safe <laughs> especially in combination with other other medications or maybe conditions people might have so the website mentions that safety shot contains natural compounds that help accelerate alcohol breakdown as a pharmacist, how do you evaluate the, effic the efficacy of these ingredients? And, and more importantly, my, my concern is, should people be aware of any potential interactions or side effects that these stimulants may have on their heart, for instance? So long-term heavy drinkers usually have quite a bit of cardiac issues. Like it really wreaks havoc on their cardiac issues. And anytime I wouldn't give this safety shot to anybody that has high blood pressure, a chance of high pressure, uh, blood pressure, a history of strokes, anything like that, because there is enough stimulant in it that it will, it will wreak havoc on that. It is, it's, it is fairly intense. I, like I said, I don't know if I would take it. It's got, so it's got cinephrine in it, which I, um, is phenylephrine. And, and so they claim on it that they helps reduce alcohol absorption in the stomach. And the way that they're doing it is it has enough of these stimulants that it's shrinking the blood vessel size inside the stomach. Well, anytime you shrink blood vessel size, it's not like it stays in the stomach. So now we've shrunk blood vessels elsewhere. So if somebody had an underlying heart condition with this much stimulant and they're also drinking heavily, that's a, that could be a recipe for disaster. As it goes for 
getting rid of the alcohol in the bloodstream. Um, any ER doctor, anybody that sees this uh, acute alcohol poisoning would tell you right away that that's a really hard trick to do. In order to get rid of it, they often will use hemodialysis to pull it out. So if there was a simpler way, you know that one of the big pharma companies would have already patented it and charged the ERs $10,000 for each treatment if there was really a way to do that. And where there's not one there, I do think that there is some value in the product, but the idea that it's a long-term fix is probably no. I love that. And, and we've seen with supplements and detox products, how important regulation is and consumers, I can't stress, I can't stress this enough. You need to educate yourselves and protect yourselves from potentially unsafe or unproven claims and do your research. There's a growing movement, Phil, toward alcohol harm reduction products. I've noticed it. And given the rise of such innovations like Safety Shot and all the all the likes of Safety Shot, do you think that the FDA is going to step in to regulate this sector more strictly? And what should consumers look for in terms of safety certifications? Um, at this point, I don't know if they will jump in until there's been enough harm done that they have to step in because most of the substances they put in there are underneath the uh, nutraceutical companies. So it doesn't have to be proven until they make claims which are no longer viable. However, there was a, a statement put out by the FDA in 2022, which did warn supplement makers about making claims about alcohol reduction without adequate information. Um, I think that generally speaking, anybody who believes that there is a way that you can drink heavily, take something and go back sober, needs to make sure that they know that that supplement, whatever they're saying, that that is an impossibility as far as science at this point. There's no pharmaceutical way for you to do that. So watch the claims that they're making. If you read it and it looks like they're saying, well, I'll keep you hydrated, we'll give you a little bit of stimulant, we'll help offset some of it, that's, that's fine. But when they say, we will make it so it goes away. Well, that's a claim nobody can make. Yeah, definitely. And products like this, it's my concern that they target younger consumers or those engaged in social drinking. I think there's a risk of creating a false sense of security among this younger demographic. So I think we definitely have to strike a balance between using products like this responsibly, but also promoting healthier behaviors to your point. Now, as we wrap, wrap up, Phil, for those tuning in who are curious about trying Safety Shot, no, we're not endorsing it. We don't have an affiliation to the company, but they listened and they said, okay, now I'm going to go research products like this. What should what would be your best advice? How should they approach integrating a product like this into their routine? And what steps should they take to ensure it's actually right for them? It's funny because I keep thinking about a group of frat boys who are trying to drink heavier and then take all this and then getting really, really amped up and getting worse and worse. So, you know, that that idea of a younger drinker demographic who wants to go out and binge drink and this is going to be a way for them to drink more. That is a terrible, terrible idea. This would be specifically for a situation in which you were going out with friends and you want to have a few drinks, you took one too many and you want to take one to see what happens. That's a wonderful way to go. But if you're planning on going out to binge drink, this in the end will make everything substantially worse, not better. You heard it directly from the expert himself. Phil, thank you so much for coming on, being so transparent, breaking it down for us and really helping us make the proper decision. That's what it's all about. We love having you on. You are amazing. Well, thank you. And I'm only amazing because of the host. She does such, she makes everybody look so good. I'm flattered. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you to our listeners. Remember that while there are exciting new products out there, it's important to approach them with a critical eye and consult with professionals, of course, like Phil. And you can find him on the gram at Phil's My Pharmacist for more health tips and advice. And of course, if you're curious about Safety Shot or any similar products, you can always make sure to do your research and speak to your healthcare provider before you go directly to their website and jump all in. This is a moment of Zen. I'm your host, Zen Sams. You're listening to 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio.